Oh my goodness. What does your future hold? Maximus the all-knowing. Take your ride. There you go, buddy. Oh my goodness. That is adorable. You guys give it up for Maximus. Oh. Oh my goodness. How do you get him to ride like that? He loves the stroller, and that's the cool stroller. You know, if I had to ride in a stroller, that is the stroller I would want to ride in. So Agape Animal Rescue is out here today at The Grove, and this event is, uh, we are partnering with a charity called Rover Works, and this is a photography event. So lucky people are chosen to be in this amazing coffee table book, or um, different donors are making donations to have their dogs in this book. The purpose of this event is to save lives in our community. So Agape Animal Rescue is a network of foster parents all over Middle Tennessee. We partner with our local shelters and we help owners that can no longer care for their pets. We bring their dogs into our program, get them everything that they need, medically, behaviorally, whatever they need to be ready to move forward to a forever family. That's what we do for them. She is beautiful. How old is Letty? Just turned four. She's a little girl. Hi, sweet Letty. Oh my goodness. So Andrew Grant um, with Rover Works actually makes a coffee book that he photographs people's dogs and he also photographs homeless dogs in hopes of helping them find a home. And so any of the profits that are made today help go toward Williamson County Animal Center and Agape. Um, for Williamson County Animal Center, those funds are going to help provide medical care, such as leg amputations, eye inoculations for the animals that come into our care that need those type of special needs. Oh, look at that. Look at that booty shake. Oh, yeah. Booty shake. I love it. Work it, Bella. Work it, girl. Yes, indeed. Oftentimes we photograph dogs that are living at a rescue. And I'm surprised to know, or to discover that they know a, a variety of tricks. And I'm wondering, what is a great dog like this doing without a home? And uh, that's our mission, is to uh, share the story that you can get healthy, smart, beautiful dogs from rescues. And that includes purebreds. About 30% of the res uh, rescue population is made up of purebreds. And uh, so even if somebody has a penchant for a certain type of breed, they can find that dog at a rescue. They just have to be patient and resourceful. And what we're doing today is if somebody has a dog and they want to make a $5,000 donation to one of the rescues, um, we'll photograph their dog and then he or she goes into a page in Rover in the next edition of Rover, which comes out this fall. So it's a great way to get your dog immortalized in a book while helping rescues. And we're really proud of that. The program's raised about $2 million uh, during the last few years, but more importantly, we've bridged countless relationships between really deserving rescues, and very generous donors. And that, I think that to me is the part we are most proud of. Look at that. He's from the home of the king, and that's where he got his name, I believe. Memphis has been known to eat picnic tables <laughs> as an appetizer. Yeah. Oh, can I have a kiss, Memphis? Can I have a kiss? Memphis, you better be glad I love you, big guy. <laughs> <laughs>